What's up guys, it's your boy Zion and I'm bringing you another Destiny video. This one's a little bit of a bittersweet thing, but it's something someone had to go ahead and talk about. Um, it's basically going to be what is Destiny missing, what is essentially killing Destiny, and it, it's going to be a kind of sad video. However, it's something somebody needs to say and I'm sure the community is probably going to agree with me. Now, when you go ahead and you look at Destiny, it was touted as a game that had endless possibilities. It was supposed to be an open world shooter where you could basically run around, be a total badass, and absolutely fuck shit up. What we ended up getting was a game that went ahead and was very linear. You basically, you went through the story once, you never touched it again besides if it was the daily mission. You grinded out strikes and you had a very limited scope of the areas that you were in. There's really not much exploring. There's not much running around in the game whatsoever. It's really not an open world game. Now, once you move past that, there's also not really a story, even though there is a story. So there's a story, but most of it's in the Grimoire and on the Bungie.net site. It, it's just a frustrating thing to go ahead and have the story be outside of the game, but the story that is there is absolutely amazing once you go ahead and you go through and look and read all the lore and all that shit is amazingly written and awesome. It's just, it's not in the game and most players aren't going to go outside of the game to read the story. Once you go ahead and you stop looking so much at the story, you look at how they go ahead and they basically don't talk to the community. Year one, they were great about it. They gave the community clear guidelines of where they were going. They gave them ideas of what was coming in the future. They talked to the community. Now, it's not really the same. They tend to go dark once they go ahead and unleash their new DLC or newest game type. They'll go ahead and they'll tease things like a day before but there'll be nothing before that. And it's really frustrating because you don't get hints, you don't get that hype up feeling of going ahead and hyping something up and teasing it up and you don't have the communication you would really want, which ultimately makes the community move on to a game that actually does communicate and actually seems to listen to the player base as opposed to just go dark before something new comes out or not really tell us what their plans are for the future. It's extremely frustrating and it's just something that needs to change. Now, one thing that Destiny does above all else is it goes ahead and makes you feel awesome. <laughs> There's no going about it in any other way. It goes ahead and it makes you feel like a total badass when you're running around. Yeah, you might die here and there, but you've killed gods. You've killed a whole, like leaders of arsenals of fucking armies everything you've killed destroyers of worlds like it's amazing all the different people you've literally gone back in time and destroyed the timekeeper himself there's all these fucking awesome things you can tote around and say that you've fucking done and it makes you feel like a total badass especially when it's your first time going ahead and going through and doing it the first time you complete a raid, the first time you complete a nightfall, you feel like an absolute badass. And it continues on in the game. You never feel like you're really outgunned. You don't feel like any of the enemies are extremely strong unless they're in masses. And then it's still like, okay, pop my super, fuck this shit up real quick. That's one of the key things about Destiny that keeps people around is... You feel like a badass. It's fun to play. You go ahead and have this amazing experience. The gunplay is tight. The um, the mechanics are, for the most part, very well done. Going ahead and running around and doing sparrow racing or just cruising around, flying your ships to different places, it, it feels well done. Except for once you go ahead and you delve into things where you realize you actually need other people. It seems like they, they wanted to have this huge community of people playing together, but they didn't actually think of a way to make the community play together. They went ahead, they have all these things that require fire teams, but they don't give any way for you to really communicate between people unless you're in a party or you're in a fire team already. There's no way for you to communicate with a random person you meet to go ahead and see if they want to do an activity. There's 
almost no matchmaking for activities that people actually want to do besides strikes and crucible and then moving on from that there's the crucible which is in itself an absolute clusterfuck it was a good implemented idea in which it was a multiplayer in which people could play against each other and then the end game of iron banner and trials went ahead and added the element of your armor actually counts for something like your stats actually matter but you get into things where they haven't implemented a system where you can get past connectivity issues. So you can play this amazing game, you can go ahead and run through this game countless times. I've been playing this game since launch and I'm still not bored of it. But it's something where connectivity issues play a major role in that. I've lost out on raids right as you kill a boss due to connectivity issues. Going ahead and trying to do like a trials run and you run into that team that's literally teleporting around the map and destroying you. There's issues where it just doesn't make sense why they haven't fixed day one shit. And it's absolutely infuriating to an old player like myself. Now with all of those things said, like I said, I absolutely love the game. I can't wait to see what comes in Destiny 2. I'm excited for it and I hope you guys are too. I, I really want to go ahead and continue making Destiny videos, but it's one of those things where we need the, the developers, Bungie, to communicate and give us the content we actually deserve. So, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, a comment, a favorite, and subscribe, and as always, I'll see you guys later. Peace!